I have been doing my own Gel X nails for over six months now. I feel like I finally have nailed it down. I've done so many different designs too. I will add some of the designs here that I've personally done myself, but a lot of people still don't know how to do their own Gel X nails. So I wanna show you exactly what I use, exactly how to do it. I did make myself this little checklist that I follow every single time so I never forget a step. The very first thing I do, whether I am putting on a new set or I am backfilling, I always push my cuticles back. So get a cuticle pusher. And then I also use a cuticle eraser. You're going to put this on your nails and then let it sit. And then you're going to then clip your nail cuticles. That way you're really getting down in there and cleaning your cuticles up because the way that these stay on and stay healthy is nail prep. Just like whenever you do your makeup, it's all about skin prep. Then you're going to take rubbing alcohol and you are going to rub off all the things that you just had, including the cuticle eraser remover. Make sure you get rid of all of that. Next, you are going to get your gel tips. I personally bought these ones. I wanted short almond nails. Figure out which one fits best and then you file the sides if they need to be filed. You wanna make sure that they fit your nail bed properly and that they're not squishing your nail, but they're not over the sides. You don't wanna get nail glue on your skin. That's not good. Next, you are going to file the inside of the gel tip. I put this little tip on there and I file. Point of this is because I wanna roughen up the inside of this so it's not completely clear and shiny. Once you have the gel tips filed down to fit your nail size and then you have the inside of the tips filed, you're gonna go over your fingernails. You're gonna start with Nail Prep Dehydrator and then you're going to go with Acid Free Primer. You do not need a lot of this primer, just use a little. And then you're going to put the glue gel on your actual nail, not the fake nail yet. Then you're going to cure it in your big light for 30 seconds and then I do the other hand and then I cure it for 30 seconds. Then I take the little gel tip, I put glue on the inside of it towards the bottom. You don't need glue at the top. That's your tip and it's not even touching skin. You don't need to glue that. Once the glue is on there, you lay it flat on your finger like this and you put it underneath the flash cure light. And then I let it cure for 30 seconds underneath the little flash cure device. Once you've flash cured the tip onto all five fingers on one hand, then you're going to cure it in the big UV light for a minute just to make sure they're really on there. You are then going to take the drill and you are going to fade this into cuticle because I don't want this to lift and I don't want anything to get caught underneath here. And after you do all the cuticles, shave the sides of your nail. So this is really the time to file it to your liking. If you want it to be shorter, make it shorter. If you want it to be more almond shape, Make it more almond shape. Do whatever you want to do at this point. You can be really rough because they're on your nail. Before you add any gel polish onto that Gel X nail, buff the top of it. Remove the shine. Once they're all buffed and dull looking, you are going to add your foundation base coat. So that's the very first thing that you put on your nails. So I do all five nails and then I cure it in the big light for 30 to 60 seconds. And once you have your base coat on and it is cured, now it is time to actually put on polish. I have a lot of different polishes and then I have these little brushes. You can do designs with this or I like to sometimes have a smaller tip brush. I also have this set of brushes as well. This gives you more variety. This is like just one size. It's not always ideal if you're doing the swirly designs. Also, this is a random makeup brush that I have in here. I get nail polish remover just in case I get it on my skin, especially if you mess up. If you mess up, but you haven't cured that layer of polish yet, then you can just use nail polish remover, just remove it and then try again. I will typically do the foundation base coat and then I will do two layers of polish and then I will do one layer of design. That way it's not clumpy and thick. The very first time I did this, I used a toothpick because I did not have those little brushes and it was the most clumpy, disgusting looking nail I've ever seen. It was so gross, but I was so proud of myself for doing it. So just be careful not to use too much nail polish whenever you're doing this. And then you put on the top coat whenever you're done and then make sure to always cure between each layer that you're doing. Last thing I'll say, if your nails are sticky after you have cured them and put on all the polish, just use rubbing alcohol with a cotton round or a cotton ball and just wipe down your nails. Rubbing alcohol will always help remove the stickiness and then you can go on with your day and have fun with it. It'll get better over time, but I hope that helps.